I gonna get out of there? Good morning, Mr. Granger. Good morning, Captain Pico. Good morning, Miss Browns. Why aren't you looking nice this morning? Why, thank you, Captain Pico. Good morning, Mr. Granger. Good morning, Miss Browns. Uh, good morning, sir. <laughs> yes, Miss Wiggy Pico. I am I am Mr. Front. Also by Mr. Rumbold, uh, I'm going to be replacing uh, Mr. Humphreys because he is unwell at the moment. Okay, um, please sign here. Okay. No. Um, you'll be under Mr. Granger. Okay. Um, he's at the floor for a few moments. Okay. Oh, and um, could you please tell Mr. Lucas when he um, returns to see you when I get back? Uh, yes, of course, sir. Uh, Mr. Lucas is a weird looking one. Yeah, no. <laughs> Where's old Peacock? Who are you? I'm mm, hey, Mr. Fred. I replaced Mr. Humphreys because he's unwell. You must be Mr. Lucas. Uh, yes I am. Yeah, Kevin Peacock, yeah, he's just um, left the floor. You're actually quite late. I know. You're late, again. I know, I'm sorry sir, and it won't happen again. Yes, well, it better not. Yep. Yeah, Mr. Lucas, uh, Captain Peacock wants to see you as soon as um, he returns. Okay. You can go now. You know, usually when uh, there are no customers on the floor, Mr. Humphreys and I talk about any recent events that might have occurred. Uh, what about this? Um, you wouldn't believe what happened to me last night. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I was in my uh, yoga class. Oh, yoga? Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yoga. Yeah. I won't let you get in me any confidence that you're gonna mock me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, Don't I was doing a horizontal hold, but my vertical lift just went. I was talking an upright look for half an hour. Hmm, I, I bet you were. <laughs> yeah, well, the instructor attempted to ease, ease, ease me out of the upright lock. However, it only made it worse. I was stuck in the upright half lock for about five minutes before they unlocked and I fell on my back. Everything just happens to you, doesn't it? Yes, I know. That's what I said to my mother when I got home. <laughs> mm. Mr. Fred. Stop talking. And get those shirts. Marked down. Yeah, yeah, sir. Do you hear me? Yes! I have probably stop talking about my yoga classes. Oh god, my face! Yes, Captain Peacock. Mr. Lewis, you were late again. For the third time this week, I would like a reason. <sighs> yes, well, Captain Peacock, you see, it's like this. My mother didn't wake me up in the morning, so I overslept, and then I didn't get my breakfast, and by the time I got to my bus, it was late. I just, just made my bus. Well, then you should have been on time. Yes, well, you'd think that. But, however, I missed my stop, and I had to walk three blocks, and to get there, and I was very, very late. You were late, Mr. Lucas. Yeah, well, you'd think that, but yeah. On my way up, I ran into young Mr. Grace and he said, you know, what a great day it is and all that, and by the time I finished talking to him and come up here, I'm like... Go back behind your counter, Mr. Lucas. Okay, yes, Captain Peacock. Captain Peacock! Yes, Miss Browns, what is it? Oh, Captain Peacock? Mm, thank you. I'm flattered. Okay, anyway, the reason I called you over is that I'm currently understaffed and was wondering if you could send one of the gentlemen to help. Oh, of course. Um, who would you like? Mr. Lucas. Okay. Mr. Lucas, over here. 
Yes, Captain Peacock. You want to help Miss Browns out and do whatever she says. All right then. Well, Mr. Lucas, now that you're under me, we can get a few things straight. All right then. Here's the clock, so you're not late again. Thank you. Oh, Miss Browns. Okay, so now you can confine yourself to hats, scarves, and the two, unless I tell you otherwise. Alrighty then. Good morning, sir. Are you being served? Oh, no, no, actually. I'm looking for a dress for my wife. Okay, what colour does she want? She wants a um, pretty short blue. Alright, what price range? Well, I am pretty rich. I'm going to have to go with 50 pounds. Okay, what size? Well, according to her, she's a 9, but I think she's a 10, if you know what that means. Okay, yes. Mr. Lucas? Uh, one blue size 10 from the cotton section. Ah! There we are. It looks very lovely. Oh my god, it's so blue. Oh, thank you so much. No problems. Mr. Fred? Yeah? Where is Mr. Lucas? He's over in the ladies department. Why? Get him over here. Well, he was sent by um, Ken Peacock to help Miss Browns out because she was understaffed. Well, now I'm understaffed. Captain Peacock! Captain Peacock, please help me! Yes, Mr. Granger, what do you want? I did not give permission for Mr. Lucas to be moved to the ladies' department. Mr. Granger, it's only for today. Mrs. Slocum called in sick, so she was understaffed. Well, now I'm understaffed. Yes, well, you both have one assistant each. This is not acceptable. I'm going to see Mr. Rommel. Okay. Mr. Fred. Yeah. Uh, your customer approaches. Oh, lovely. After yeah. I serve this customer. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, sir. Are you being served? No. Oh, okay. Um, what would you like? I'm looking for some blue slacks. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to know your waist measurement. I think it's 36. Okay, and what about your inside leg? I don't know. You're going to have to measure it. Okay, I'll do that now. Uh, Mr. Fred, if you could help me down, please. Of course, sir. Oh, I'll just measure your leg. About 30, Mr. Fred? Okay, Mr. Granger, 36, 30 in brown. We don't have any brown, but we have blue. You want that? Yeah. Awesome. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Fred. There you go, sir. Thank you. Sale, Mr. Fred. I'll make out a bill. Sale, Mr. Granger. Mr. Fred, will you take over while I go and see Mr. Rumble? Yeah, of course, sir. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Granger has told me his point of view, and Miss Browns has told me hers. And I've also listened to Mr. Peacock, and I've made my decision. Yes, sir? Mr. Lucas is to stay with Miss Browns for as long as she sees fit. But? No buts, Mr. Granger. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Rumble. You're welcome. Mr. Fred, yeah? what have you sold today? Oh, oh, I've sold uh, two shirts, three pants, and two pairs of gloves. Okay, that's pretty good. Well, Thank you, sir. Yeah. Well, a customer, how did you sell? A customer approaches. Really? Yep. Well, Just, I'm going to go and serve them. No. Okay, well, I'm going to go on my break. Yeah, so, fun um, with that, you will. Good evening, sir. You're being served. 
Why no, I have not. Yeah, okay, so what are you looking for? I'm looking for two pairs of gloves. Uh, gloves. Uh, what color? Uh, black. What size? Um, let's see. Large. Oh, let's see if you got any. Uh, I think I've got some uh, somewhere. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Two pairs of large black gloves. That'd be two, 12 pounds, I think. 12 pounds? Here you go, sir. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you sir. Goodbye. Time to go home, everyone. Oh, Mr. Lucas, you'll be back on the men's counter tomorrow. Are you clear? Yes, Captain Peacock. Miss Brahms? Yes, Captain Peacock. Dumbass. Dumbass. Annie Simpson as Miss Brahms. <laughs> It's Ben Ferris as uh, Miss Lucas. <laughs> Shut up! No, don't! You deserve that! Matthew Maloney as Captain Hooper. Oh, yeah. Nelson Dale as Mr. Granger. Oh, yeah? Well, you can tell the man, he just lost six votes. No, man, you're such a. You hate me. You're the worst person I've ever met. It's so bad, you know. You're just the worst shopkeeper I know. Hey, look at my name, Eddie. It's my name. Look, look at my name. Yes, and Fred as Mr. Fred. You know what? I've had the worst day. You see, I'm going home to to my space. This I'm gonna post it on how bad it is. I've been here to You know how many times I count like five times. This is literally the worst place to ever work, and I live here. This is ridiculous. I have never worked in a place like this ever again. Vlad is Vladimir and blue dress size 9 to 10. I would say hi. Van Kraft is blue slacks 30 to 36. Hey, it's Alessandra Rillo, and still got two large black gloves. And Mr. Massey G as Mr. Rumble. Daniel Harding is Fred. <laughs>